Today we're going to be doing our awesome stack turtle art. Now, just for the sake of time, I'm going to be doing two steps in one. I'm going to be combining my pencil and my Sharpie steps into one. You're going to be starting with pencil today, though, guys, but also it helps you see it a lot easier if, we, if I go with Sharpie first. So again, you'll be going with pencil first, and I'll be going with Sharpie first. Now, after you do your pencil, you're going to do your Sharpie. We're doing our stacked turtles today, and what I want to see is I want to see the biggest turtle on the bottom. Now, you can be very, very creative with these, and you're going to be watching me all the way through before you start doing your turtles. Now, your turtles don't have to look exactly like my turtles. You can make your turtles look a lot different if you want. Here's my first little turtle. He's a happy turtle. And a little tail right there. Now as far as the shell goes, and the patterns on the shell, I'm going to let my lines curve up to the top just a little bit. I notice I'm really taking my time. I'm going slow, doing my very best job on these. And then even the lines that go across are going to be slightly curved. So if you think of the shell, that shell is going to be curved or kind of roundish as it goes up. It's not flat. There we go. So there's my first turtle. I got him awfully big. But I think he's kind of fun looking. Now my next turtle is going to be a little smaller. Doing his little shell around. Now his little feet, oh maybe he's standing on top. Barely touching the other turtle with his feet. Oh, maybe this leg's going out. Maybe he's turned the other direction and he's like, oh no. Am I going to fall off? So here's this little guy. And I got his little tail right there. And his little lines off for his shell going up. And the lines going across. And even though they look pretty straight, I'm adding a little bit of a curve to them. There we go. Next up, again, slightly smaller. His shell, I kind of made it look like he's going behind a little bit. Maybe his legs are going out and he's completely balancing, or maybe it looks like he's trying to run off the top. Maybe he's facing a different way. Maybe he's having a really good time. I'm going to give him a little smile. I could even just leave his eyes at little dots. Maybe I'll change it up right there. These, of course, are my vertical lines, even though they're slightly curved. And these, of course, are my horizontal lines going across. If you were with me in kindergarten last year, then we've, you know, we've talked about vertical and horizontal lines. Maybe this last little turtle is, oh no, what happened to him? <laughs> He's upside down. He's kind of crazy. And which way is he going to be facing? He's going to be looking up at the others going, what? He's kind of the baby. And again, these little vertical lines, slightly curved. Now these are my stacked turtles. And so you can see that I filled up that space. So that is one of your big goals is to fill up the composition, even though you'll have a little bit of space on either side. You really want to fill that up. Um, and when I say fill up the composition, you're really just filling up the space on your page. I also, my goal is to make my turtles get smaller and smaller as they go up. So I'm doing the biggest turtle on the bottom, then a little bit smaller, then a little bit smaller, then the smallest. Again, your turtles don't need to look like mine. You can put different kinds of faces, different kinds of emotions. I put my turtle heads on the side, but of course you could even put your turtle head on the front. Or you could even make that the back side of the turtle. It is completely up to you. Uh, here are a couple other examples. This is one that I did also. So you can see a little bit of a difference. Also, oh, here's a sad turtle. I'm going to fill in. Your next step after you do the pencil, after you do the Sharpie, is to start to fill in with the crayon. Now, I know that I'm not going to sit here and do this for you because I think you can understand with me just telling you how to do it. But you can see that I'm filling in some of these squares with the crayon. I'm pressing down really hard because I want to get the best color of that crayon. When you press down hard with that crayon, you don't want to break it, but you're also making that crayon look like paint. It's really, really nice. The final step that you're going to have with these is you're going to be painting over the turtle shells after you do the crayon. So it's going to end up being a crayon resist and it is going to look so, so nice. Especially if you take the time and the care and the effort to go slowly and fill in those little squares nicely with that crayon. 
And do notice that I left a little bit of empty white space around. So when I paint over my shells, then that paint is going to fill in those areas and it's going to look great. I can't wait to see these guys. Thanks.